Right now, a significant winter storm is currently impacting the Midwest, where some areas in the Midwest could experience over a foot of snow and potentially over 18 inches of snow in some localized areas, and the same storm system could lead to our next major snowstorm for the Northeast, where some areas in the Northeast could experience over 6 inches of snow from this same storm system. If we were to take a look at what the GFS model is currently depicting um, as of the latest 18Z run, we see that there's a heavy amount of snow going on right around the brass where we do see the purple shades which represents very heavy snowfall omaha right now is in the rainfall but it uh, but there is a chance you might get a little bit of snowfall before the snowfall finally ends as it seems like it's going to be a little bit too warm right around the omaha area to receive much of any snowfall but we do see that just in the northwest of omaha we do see very heavy snowfall where we still see snowfall that's very heavy at times which will lead to snowfall rates between one to two inches per hour and potentially even more in some localized areas so you want to make sure to stay prepared for that and we should see the snow eventually approach minneapolis i'd say by the noon time on uh, um, tomorrow where we could of uh, it where you guys will eventually receive the heavy snowfall where you could experience 6 to 12 inches of snow and we see that this snowfall will last for a long duration for the eastern portion of south dakota and the northeastern portion of nebraska where we're seeing this low pressure some a little bit before it eventually moves to the northeast and this heavy snowfall should move northward into minnesota i'd say by the afternoon to evening time on tuesday same goes for the northern portion of wisconsin and the snow should last for the eastern portion of south dakota and no the northeastern portion of nebraska i'd say until tuesday evening before eventually moving to the northeast and eventually the snow pressure system is expected to weaken as a result of the instability getting reduced as it continues ahead for northeast where we're going to see the jet stream sort of cut off from this low and this low will sort of be in its own little island where it's going to be cut off from the very warm and moist air mass to reduce much more convection and as all well, the pressure will rise and the storm will weaken as it heads for a northeastward but still will bring more precipitation in the northeast where you could experience a heavy rain event um, in some areas of northeast and of course there's that possibility of snow if we were to continue to move more and more into the future future now um, if I were to continue to move forward with what the GFS model is currently depicting at this time um, you're going to see that the GFS model um, eventually does expect snow to impact New England where we do see that as this low pressure system continues to move eastward we're going to see just enough convection on the eastern side of this low pressure system to where we could see a moderate amount of snowfall in some portions of New England where Hartford Boston and uh, no and especially the interior northeast is experiencing snowfall in this scenario so despite the fact that this low pressure system has significantly weakened as it approached the northeast there's still going Gonna, there still could be that possibility of just enough convection for a heavy snowfall threat to occur in New England and that's not the only threat we're gonna need to pay very close attention to there's also another snowfall threat that could impact the Ohio Valley as well as the Northeast as we approach the weekend where we do see that by the Thursday time frame we will see this trough that's gonna come off the Pacific Coast um, move into the Midwest and there could be just enough instability to create a little bit of convection right around the low pressure system and while there isn't a high amount of instability to really make this a significant snowstorm you have to remember that they we're forecasting the storm around four to five days out so there still could be a dramatic shift in the forecast where maybe the computer models do depict that there could be a little bit more instability than expected with this old pressure system but we're gonna need wait and see that it really all depends on how much cold air will be behind this old pressure system as it as it moves into ashore along the pacific coast where we do see that this storm will eventually originate from a atmospheric river that's going on along the west coast move into the midsection of the country and there should be just enough of a northwesterly flow to create that possibility of snow and convection to go on where you could see a large area of one three inches of snow between the ohio river valley and even extending into pennsylvania but we're going to wait and see how much instability there will be in the in the northeast to really determine if this could be more significant than that's than let's say only experiencing one to three inches of snowfall but the fact that the european model also agrees with this does raise certainty with the forecast let's take a look at the european model right now
Taking a look at the European model's depiction of the storm system, we do see, of course, there's still heavy snowfall. Pretty much the forecast is very certain for the northern Midwest at this time, so make sure to take the right precautions in the northern Midwest. But if I were to continue to move forward into where the storm system moves into the northeast, we do see that as for this first round of snow, the European model doesn't expect as significant of a snowfall threat as the GFS model, at least when it comes to this first storm system where we we do see that the European model doesn't expect as much convection to develop as we only see a very scattered amount of snow showers move through New England rather than a pretty large swath of snow moving through New England, which is the reason why the European model um, forecasts that the snowfall accumulation will mainly be relegated to the extreme interior portions of the Northeast, such as a high, especially the higher elevations of the interior Northeast. But if I were to continue move forward, the European model also agrees that this same storm system coming off the Pacific coast will encounter just enough instability to bring a relatively large amount of snow over a large area uh, um, over um, the Ohio Valley as well as the Northeast where we do see the storm a little bit stronger in the European model scenario not by much but we do see the area of snow is a little bit larger in the European models scenario where we do see a, a larger area of 1-3 inches which includes Chicago, Indianapolis, Cleveland, Pittsburgh could get involved with potentially up to 3-6 inches especially in the higher elevations west virginia could also get involved as the european model does expect just enough instability to be created by this ridge that's like starting to move southward and depending on how far south that ridge moves and interacts with this very warm and moist environment that will determine how much snow you will receive and how powerful the soil pressure system will be um, to um, really determine if you're in for a more significant snow um, fall threat than expected but as of right now it seems like both the European and the GFS model are in pre pretty good agreement with this storm system. We need to see if that keeps up over the next five days before we can jump to this conclusion that this will primarily be a snowstorm that will dump one to three inches of snow, but there's still that um, uncertainty that um, whether or not this storm, this low pressure system will actually bring snow to the Ohio Valley and the Northeast. I think it's likely at this point you will at least experience some snowfall associated with the storm system in the Ohio Valley or the Northeast, but we still have to pay very close attention to changes in the forecast because this potentially could be more significant than what the computer models depict if there's a little bit more instability. Take a look at what the European model is depicting when it comes to its snowfall forecast. We, of course, do see that the European model is in agreement with the GFS model that you should expect over a foot of snow over a large area of the Midwest. This includes Minneapolis, so make sure to pay close attention to that. But moving on to the Northeast, we could potentially see a large area of one, three inches of snow if this snowstorm were to come for fruition, at least um, with the um, European model scenario where we could see one to three inches between Chicago, Indianapolis, Cleveland, then Pittsburgh could get involved with maybe over three inches of snow and the northern the extreme northern portions of the interior northeast could get involved with three six inches of snow so that's at least something we're going to need to pay close attention to and the GFS model is also in relatively good agreement with the European model regarding the snowfall forecast with the um in the northeast but there's still a couple a couple key differences that you want to take note of when making decisions Take a look at the GFS's model's forecast. We do see that the, the GFS model also agrees that there should be at least some sort of snowfall right around the Ohio River Valley and the um, portions of the Northeast where we do see a large area of one, three inches of snow and a smaller area of three, six inches of snow in the, um, in right around the, just north of the Ohio River Valley. But we do see that Chicago is experiencing less snow in this scenario compared to the European model. And however, the much of New England is experiencing a much larger area of snow where boston is now involved with, with three to six inches of snow so is hartford so this would impact the more populated areas of northeast albany is involved with snowfall as well where you could experience three to six inches if the gfs model scenario is correct and pittsburgh as well is still experiencing snowfall in the gfs's model scenario so it's still relatively similar to what the european model is stating it's just that the, the gfs model doesn't expect this second snowstorm to bring snowfall at 
as widespread as a European model, but still does agree that this snowstorm will eventually form, which makes it likely, in my opinion, that we will see a snowstorm move into the Ohio River Valley and the Mid-Atlantic as we approach the weekend and New England. It's pretty much, it's very likely you will experience at least some sort of snowfall somewhere in New England at this time. We're going to need to see if we're going to, um, um, over the next several days, if we're going to see that snowfall move as far south as Boston or take more of the European malls approach where the snow is mainly rele relegated to the interior northeast. But what I could say is that the interior northeast will likely experience um, at least three to six inches of snow from this storm. It's just It just becomes a little bit more uncertain as we head further south and into Boston, Hartford, and even into Albany. So here's my snowfall forecast regarding the next few storm systems that are expecting to move through the northeast. So I'm currently moving um, closer to what the European model is stating, where I'm expecting a large area of one three inches between Ohio, Indiana, Pennsylvania over the next seven days, and including upstate New York. And Boston could get involved with maybe one three inches of snow over the next week, and then three six inches just on north of that, where the snow, of course, should be a little bit heavier, and it should be primarily entirely a snow event for you guys where it's more certain it's going to be an all snow event and then 6 to 12 inches just in north that and then pay close attention to over a foot of snow right around the central portion of the midwest so make sure to pay close attention to that there's so uncertainty but i'll keep you guys up there regarding any changes in the snowfall accumulation forecast but thank you guys for watching